Hey guys! Hi! Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another charity shop haul. I'm so nervous. I'm so awkward. Like, I'm not good at filming myself on YouTube videos. <laughs> I never know what to say, so maybe let's just not say anything at all and just get straight into it. I'm actually going to begin with the books because that's probably what I'm most excited for. As you can see to my right, I have quite a big bookshelf. Um, it is almost... No, come back. See, I have quite the collection. I'm an avid reader. Um, I read loads. English literature is probably my favourite A-level that I'm taking and it is what I want to do at university and what I want my career to be revolved around. So books are very dear to me. We have this secondhand bookshop in my local town and that's where all these are from. The first book I got was only £1 and this is The Essential Kafka by Franz Kafka. I've already read The Metamorphosis and In the Penal Colony and I adore both. I really like this edition because it includes letters to my father which is something I've been wanting to read from him for a very long time. So I'm very excited to explore more of his works. I recently, last summer, had the privilege of going to see his house which was converted into a museum in Prague. So cool. This is a poetry collection by Lord Byron. This collection was actually five pounds. So it was a little bit more expensive, but it's a really, really pretty copy. It's hardback. The reason I decided to choose this, I've never actually read any of his work. So a great chance to. Newstead Abbey, where Lord Byron used to live, is about 20-30 minutes away from me so I really want to go visit that sometime so I thought I would read him because he's like one of my neighbours sort of and I thought that was really cool so I came across this book and he inspired me he inspired me by living close to me <laughs> lived not lives he's dead next up I got this collection from John Keats this cost me two pounds it's written in pencil inside each of the books I'd say that Eve of St Agnes is probably my favourite and I say favourite because I do not find pleasure in it but I appreciate it. I think structurally he he's brilliant. You know, a lot of a lot of attention went into that. Perhaps not the content. <laughs> um but if you know my book taste you know I can, I can appreciate books and not particularly resonate with them or like them or relate to them but I can appreciate good writing, always. And then I got The Little Friend by Donna Tartt. The Secret History is one of my favourite books. I was just checking, this was also £2. Um, and I have The Goldfinch, and I also have The Little Friend. Ugh, a little bit of my hoarding tendencies coming out here. But I don't have this cover with like the creepy baby doll on it. So, because it was really cheap, I thought I'd have it in my collection because I adore Donna Tartt. All the interviews, I've watched them, the audiobook, so the secret history I've also listened to, despite reading the novel myself anyway. Um, and I will always come back to her, I will read anything she recommends. Anything that's inspired her, I will read that too. Lolita Belja, already read them, mainly because she spoke about them though. This is more so just to kind of showcase my love for her on my bookshelf. I do not need two copies, but I wanted two copies. <laughs> Lastly for books, I got The Comfort of Strangers by Ian McQueen. But he wrote Atonement, which I have and have read, and he also wrote The Children Act which I have, but I have not read. Um, so I'm gonna add this one, but I really like the cover. It's so mysterious. And I do love a nice short little story because there are so many books I want to read and not enough time. I often opt for the shorter stories because I want to just consume as much as I can. Her saying that though, my favorite books are the longer ones, like Middle March. Yes. So one pound 50 for this one, if I didn't already say. I'm very excited about it. Those are all the books that I picked up. I'm now restocked and ready for the next school term. Yay! It's just that academic pressure, guys. It's that withholding my own standards. I did buy one DVD. I've been trying to collect more physical movies, whether that's VHS or DVD. We got The Holiday for £1. I only just watched this for the first time this Christmas, just gone. Um, and I really love it. Kate Winslet's house. That is everywhere I want to live. Um, that is everything I want to embody and encapsulate when I move out. I want a house just like the one in the holiday. Ah, it's so, so darling. I love it so much. And I want to live in the English countryside in a cutesy little cobblestone house. Speaking of cutesy little houses, I did buy one room decor thing, but I would definitely be bringing it into my future house. I bought this antique candelabra. <laughs> Who do I think I am? I actually don't know. Um, because I think I live in a palace and I kind of do. I kind of should. Anyway, so this is it. This is between 1940s and 1950s. There's not an exact date to it, um, but that is the submitted age. It does need cleaning up. It has a lot of like melted candle wax around it and stuff, but I don't even have 
table candles yet to fill it with so I can't even use it yet but I will clean this up and use it it's beautiful um it's like this gold brass kind of color and then this off-white cream paint um and then it's just a velvet on the bottom this matches my room perfectly if you couldn't tell from the background um and I also love gold I exclusively wear gold this is literally me in a candelabra it's also really heavy so you know if someone breaks in I can just like and then a lesser expensive piece I got this brooch I'm not a brooch girly never have been but I've decided if I can dabble into everything else vintage why not try out the brooches as well I just got this one because it was only two pounds which I thought was really good um it's a Victorian cameo so Victorian is probably my favorite era for literature and for objects um but here it is if my camera will focus camera I mean my phone like let's not pretend I'm someone I'm not um yeah it, it never really focuses but it's very pretty it has this pearl border and then it's black with a little cameo we picture this this might even look nice on my jumper actually I don't know but um I have one of those like I call them teacher coats like the long coats of the lapels I think it'll look nice on there I don't know we'll see but this is such like an iconic symbol of the Victorian era like you see a cameo and you know it's Victorian so that's why I thought it was cool you know it's not super adventurous although in a way it is because I don't see anyone else at the age of 16 wearing Victorian cameo brooches on their coats but I'm gonna start that trend and then lastly before we move on to clothes really quickly um I did get this Audrey Hepburn 2024 calendar on discount. It was originally £5. It was on sale for 50p because we are four months into the year. If you did not know, you probably wouldn't. It's my first proper video. Oh, Audrey Hepburn is actually the love of my life. I have these like massive movie posters down there that are framed. I just don't have wall space for them. But when I move out into Kate Winslet's house from the holiday, they'll be in my living room. Right, okay, this is just... Sorry, my tripod is really broken. I've ordered a new one just last night. So that'll come later this week. That's why it keeps moving. Anyway, so my plan of this is just to cut out the pictures um, and put them around my room as posters because I already have a calendar for 2024. This was very unnecessary, but for 50p, I'm basically getting 13 free posters. Yay! I'm like a little bird, like those birds that get shiny things. But with Audrey Hepburn, like anytime I go to a car boot, anything with her on it, I will buy it just because I don't see them anywhere else. Anyway, I don't know how much storage left, so we're going to have to go through the clothes really quick. First thing I bought is kind of formal, but I'm planning on wearing it to sick form because I go to a quite a strictly dress-coded one. This was $3.50 on sale for $1.75, and I know the lighting in here is not going to do it justice because it is actually this really pretty dark olive green silk shirt. It's from Selfridge, um, which is a brand that I love, although it doesn't exist anymore, but I always find it secondhand. Like I said, you're not going to be able to see it. So unless I do a try-on, which probably won't, because I don't even know how to do that, like how to get the <laughs> why am I so bad with like technology like I'm actually a grandma in the soul but like in every way you just have to trust me on the color it's not black it's actually a really really pretty dark green it's like an emerald green but darker and I think dark colors just suit me more saying that though I did then get this white cami with this like lace panel on the front this was £2.50 and this is more so just to layer underneath things if I have like a low cut top or a v-neck jumper I will put these camis um, underneath it and somehow I don't have a white one I have pink ones I have purple ones I don't have a white one so this is like really nice and simple um it will go with literally everything and this is a great way to style pieces for school that otherwise would not be allowed to be worn at school. Next up, this is kind of grandma-esque again. It was actually my grandma that found it and told me she thought it was beautiful and my mum said it was really ugly but I'm gonna say it's cottagecore. Yes. I try not to be chronically online but then I say stuff like that and I like worry myself. Anyway, this was £3.50 so like it wasn't expensive but this is a nice little I don't know if you'd say it was a blouse or like a shirt. Okay, I need to like show it up close before you judge. So it's like this pretty floral pattern. It's kind of an off-white and then it's got these pink and brown flowers. On the front, it has these beautiful like iridescent pink sequins on it. I don't know. I don't know. I might not keep it. We'll see. Um, we'll see. I thought it was cutesy though. If anything, I'll just wear it when I go to my grandma's in the summer. Just with some shorts. It looks really nice breezy airy perfect summer the next piece is really not my style but it was so cutesy i was like i need it it made me happy and like 
you'll notice I don't really have like a specific style. Like I don't curate my wardrobe around an aesthetic because I just buy what makes me happy and that's how I make my own aesthetic in a way. Um, I say aesthetic because it literally isn't an aesthetic at all. Anyway, so this was £3.50. It is a little bit big, but I recently got a sewing machine and I'm learning to alter my clothes. So that's why I justified this purchase. So even though it's big, it's gonna work. So it's this little skirt little pleated skirt it is like a baby blue white and pink but what drew me in with these hearts oh, so freaking cute i love them so much and what i didn't notice until i got home is they're not part of the fabric they're embroidered i love that so much this is the tag it's white stuff which i don't know i don't know that brand i've never seen it before but i love the bow like that's actually a joke are you joking that is so cute it's adorable it's not my style but we're gonna make it my style. And the last piece, it's a little dress. What drew me into this was the fabric actually. It's 100% cotton and I love that. Um, I've been trying to buy more quality fabrics, investing in better fabrics. So this was five pounds and it's this beautiful little summer dress. The sleeves like are elbow length. It has this silver lining going through and then it's cuffed with this lace trim, which I adore so much. There's all these lace details throughout the dress and then this embroidery on the front. What I adore about it the most though is that it's not like a bright neon like orange. It's like cream brown and a burnt orange and then all this like lace and it's just so floaty and it's a mini dress and it's so cute. This is my brown knee high boots in the summer. Mwah, love it. And that is the end of my charity shop, antique centre and second hand bookshop haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me in the future. Um, anything that particularly interests you. Maybe caught your eye in the background of that's music related, book related, fashion related. Um, oh, that just shook up the camera. You let me know. Get back to me in the comments. And yeah. I haven't actually got a posting schedule. I think I'm just going to post when I feel like it. <laughs> Is that okay with you? Um, so sometimes there might be a drought. I might not post for a while, but I'm going to post when I feel inspired. I'm going to post probably much more in the summer and when I'm off of school, because when I'm not at school, I'm at work, unless it's the half term. So yeah, I'm, I'm not planning on posting consistently, but I am going to try and post regularly. Um, just whenever, whenever I have content to film. And I hope that's enough for you. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you whenever I next see you, which will be soon because I have ideas and I am inspired. Hence why I actually made this channel in the first place. I did not just make it to never use it. Okay, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye. Mwah.